Hi, this is John Hersey, CEO and founder of John Hersey International with another Contagious Leadership Tip and I'd love to have a conversation about vision. About vision with you because, you know, well, let me start this way. Beverly has long said to me, and I've long known and believed, that when I'm speaking, when we do a lot of keynote speeches and workshops with organizations, that passion and enthusiasm makes a difference. <laughs> people get excited by people who are excited. <laughs> they just do. Now, I've had to, over the course of my speaking career, I can get a little intense. <laughs> Some of you have heard me say this before. And sometimes I have to work at passion and excitement and sort of go over the top. So I want you to think about something. Because sometimes you, as a leader, as a contagious leader inside your organization, you're being asked to buy into a vision that's not necessarily yours. It's someone else's. It's the CEO's. It's the board of directors. Whatever it is, it's their vision for the organization. And you have to find a way to make that yours so that you can get passionate and excited about that because only by being passionate and excited about it are the people inside of your team going to get passionate and excited about it. So how do you do that? How do you do that in particular with a vision that you're not particularly passionate and excited about? Welcome to the world of leadership. <laughs> you just have to find a way and there's no magical answer. So rather than criticizing the vision, rather than pointing fingers at the vision, say to yourself inside of that vision, what is it inside of this vision that I could really get excited about? Is it the outcome? Is it the stance that we're taking? When we achieve this vision, wow, how am I going to feel about that? What if my team were to able to contribute more to this vision than anyone else in the organization? How might we feel about that at the time and then get passionate and excited about that? Find a way to get passionate and excited because without passion, without excitement, there is nothing. Jack Welch, former CEO of General Electric, once said, the world belongs to the passionate. And when he'd do interviews for senior level executives inside of, of General Electric, he didn't pay much attention to what their background was. He didn't pay much attention to what their skills were. He wanted to find out what they were passionate about. If they were passionate about something, GE would find a place for them. The world belongs to the passionate and the excited. Get passionate, get excited about your vision so that the people around you can also get it passionate and excited about it with you. And as a team, you can accomplish great things. Be well and be contagious.